Lazy Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are in the Moto Stoke town after going through the wild area. I forgot what it's called. I forgot all the words in this game. We are in our first town of the game. It seems really cool. This city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map, otherwise I know I'll get lost. What does this guy say? Uh, here in the Gala region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Do you mean Leon or somebody else? Shrinking down to fit in Pokeballs and the next thing you know, growing massive by Dynamaxing. It must be a lot of work for Pokemon. I'm sure it is. Uh, hello. M Mincio, I always have a hard time with this one. Mincio likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. <laughs> That's cute, that's really cute. And, oh, what's happening? Hey, over here. Oh, it's Sonia. Hi. So what's going on with her? Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you trek, your trek ran, ran your Pokemon ragged though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Well, I would imagine I am. I've gotten this far already. So what's going on in here? Uh, oh, looks like the Rotami is free. Rotami are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Zebra? Here's a sample for you. League card? Not really sure what that means. You got Leon's league card. Why does she have it? You put the league card in your album. Oh, are they like collectible cards? Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all of your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you can connect with using communication features. You can view all the league cards you've collected by checking out your album which you can find in the lead card option of the X menu. All right. But Motosoke sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonia is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. All right, sure. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I when I think how exciting and, mo exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. That sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait until we get there, hopefully soon. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and check this out then. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Zer check boxes, check poke jobs. What are these? Poke jobs. Pokemon are in high demand as helpers in the Gower region, and you are able to send your own Pokemon out to help on jobs. The Pokemon you send out will grow stronger from the experience they gain. Oh, great. The job postings will be updated every day. Good things will begin to happen if you send lots of Pokemon to many jobs. So keep an eye out for new postings and help out as much as you can. There's a new job posting. Multi-purpose fabric development help wanted by Lass. We're looking for normal type Pokemon. Together we can make cloth that you can use in any way you like. Okay, so you probably want Wooloom. Pokemon wanted up to three. We get one star of experience points. You wanna take this job off for sure. This is very interesting. I like this. Um, but it's looking for normal type Pokemon in general. Um, I don't know if all of these are normal. We could do like a Squovet. Let's select you. Um, and we should be able to see a summary somewhere, right? Check summary. Like you're not a normal type, are you? Well, you're a normal flying, so we'll try out a Hootoot here. Select. And then Mincio, I think is also normal. Your Pokemon will be sent to the job site, is that okay? Yep. Uh, choose how long you want your Pokemon. Okay, we'll just do the whole day. I don't know if that's like a whole real life day, but that's fine. Have fun. Hope you have a good time. Very interesting. Uh, your Pokemon went to work, they'll do their best. So that's happening right now. My Pokemon are sent. See you laters. Uh, but I also wanna see use card maker. Make a new league card, because we, we don't have one yet. So here we are, we can change the background, we can make it this or that, some plaid, uh, some nice backdrops or something. We look like we're a giant in the city, which is weird. Oh, this is like Pokemon Quest themed. Oh, I like that. And then this Pikachu one might be my favorite. Have Leon behind us, or these gears. I think I like the Pikachu one the best. We'll do that. Um, also the effect, you could have like a glowing, which is weird for this one specifically. 
Most of these are very hard to see with Pikachu. But I think I'm just gonna keep it blank. And then the frame, if we wanted to do something like this, or another Pokemon Quest theme. I really like that. Of course, we played a lot of Pokemon Quest. That's a little weird when it's Pikachu over Pikachu. I think we'll just do something like that. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, cool, we've made our Pokemon League card. Uh, along with it, we can heal up our Pokemon. I don't know if they need it, but we'll find out. I mean, we won't find out. We'll just know that they're fine now. Yep, the whole squad getting healed. Alrighty then, they're all healed and we can, no, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm leaving. I <laughs> don't wanna heal them twice in a row, that wouldn't help. Oh, there's two people now, welcome to the Pokemon, how may I help you? I'm here to buy, why is there two of them? I guess just because of the high frequency of people that might come in and out. Um, we're, we are running a little low on Pokeballs, so I will go ahead and, and buy uh, five more. And how are we doing with potions? Ooh, really low on potions, let's buy eight more of those so that I'm up to 10. I think that'd be good. And I think we're at that point where I should buy at least three of every type of uh, preventative, I guess you could call them, medicine. Uh, so burn heals, and there we go, get this. An awakening, just in case they fall asleep. Get three more of those. And also a paralyzed heal, which we already have one of, or two of, so I'll just buy one more. And then finally a revive, which is 2,000. So I'll only buy two more of these as well. That way we just have a little bit of everything. If we run into a situation where we really need it, we at least have that. Um, no thank you. Do you have anything new? No. All right, let's talk to the other trainers around here. Say, if you've got a Bunnelby, would you like to trade it for my Squovet? No, I already have a Squovet. Oh dear, that's too bad. The different shopkeepers sell different things. Who would have thought when they all look so similar? Yeah. I, well, oh wait, really? Hold on. I'm here to buy. What do you have? Aha, so you do have like different Pokeballs and stuff. Okay, Heal Ball, a remed remedial Pokeball that restores the HP of a Pokemon caught with it and eliminates any status conditions. That seems nice. Might as well just like buy a couple. I'm just shopping around doing a little spending spree. Also, we got the Netball, a somewhat different Pokeball that is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon. Really? That would be handy. I wish I could buy 10 of them, but that'd be a little too expensive for me. We'll just buy five. Five net balls is great. We also have a nest ball, a somewhat different Pokeball that becomes more effective to, to the lower level, the the lower level, the, the lower the level of the wild Pokemon. Okay, I couldn't read that for some reason, but okay, if it's a really low level Pokemon, we can use this, that'll be better. Um, and then there's all these other things. I, I don't really need these at the moment and they're a bit more pricey than I can handle. But that's good to know, thank you lady. I appreciate it, I bought some cool stuff because of that. The Rotom inside Rotomi are rather fond of the card maker. Okay. It's always better to weaken a Pokemon before you try to catch it. For example, you can lower its HP or use moves to put it to sleep or something. Yep. Do you have anything that we can do? Eh, not really. Alrighty then, well that's all that figured out. We're going to uh, just look around a little bit. Oh, I can talk to you again. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Moto Stoke is? Or Moto, yeah, Moto Stoke is? Uh, I'm here for the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. I guess we're following you. I love the music here, it's great. And it's right up there, I see it, I see the symbol. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Moto Stoke Stadium, okay? Well, we'll have to make sure we're there for it. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Alrighty. That's a lift? <laughs> Looks a little weird. Well, laters, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? So we have to register first. Okay, well, before we do that, I do want to explore around the, uh, the city as much as I can. Let's talk to you. It's wonderful that there's a space for Steamy to relax and enjoy itself. In fact, I'm tempted to join in and quench my thirst too. Might as well, that's cute. I like this little poster. <laughs> Don't really know, I guess it's like Pokemon food. Interesting. I never get tired of watching those giant steam-powered gears turning. Yeah, this is, it's quite the marvel. Motostoke is something else. What other city has a lift to take you between the upper and lower districts? Is that their way of saying, hey, don't go this way? <laughs> I guess so. Anyways, let me try going the other way. I wanna explore as much as I can before I do any of that though, because that's just how I am. Uh, pardon. You can't talk to these guys? Something could happen? Well, I wanna be able to tell you, you want me to talk to you. What about this way? 
Same deal, I'm guessing, but might as well try. Leon throws his Pokeballs with so much energy. I wonder if the Pokemon inside get dizzy? I mean, they may be. I sort of feel bad if that's the case. You gotta throw Pokeballs. Throw them over and over to get your pitching technique sorted. Is this like a little practice zone? Oh, there's something in the trash can. You found a Pokeball. Probably shouldn't be picking things out of the trash. Might not be healthy. I love flower Pokemon. Me too. I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. My Pokemon love the scent of flowers so much. Wasn't well, that sweet? We use po the Pokemon move growth to raise our flowers so they get rather large. Cool. Lots of people around to talk to as well. I don't know if I can go into any of these shops. There's something so satisfying about actually being able to hold the products when you shop. Then again, buying things online and, and having Pokemon deliver them to you has its own charm. You can really tell a person's character by going shopping with them. My husband, well, he doesn't think too much about what he buys. Yikes. So can we go in here? We can, oh look at this. Cool. So what do you have? Oh, you change hairstyles. Welcome, lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Hair or makeup? Let's do some hair. Oh man, I have to pay for it before even seeing my options, yikes. All right, then let's have you in a chair. I'll take your bag and things too. Now then, what kind kind of look did you want today? I have no clue. I was hoping to see what was available. So I can like select something and see it. So like obviously we have the short style here. Uh, there's also the Caesar cut, the medium and wavy, the braids, the side part, uh, the undercut, the bowl cut, and the long hair. Honestly, I don't know, I liked what we had, I guess. I mean, medium and wavy is pretty cool. Maybe we'll do that one. Uh, and the color, I actually like the dark brown though. There's also ash brown, green, blue, red, very fancy looks. I like dark brown though. Let's confirm this because I already paid for it. I better, I better change it to some degree, are you really one? Are you really sure you want me to go ahead with the options you've selected? Sure, why not? Have some fun. Make my hair longer somehow. <laughs> there we go. That's not so bad. Uh, thanks for your patience. You look fresher than a mint. Oh, you're gonna make me blush. Oh, I've gone uh, ahead and tucked your hat into your bag since you can't wear it with this look, really? Oh, come on, that's a little lame. I think that you should be able to. Uh, do you want to reprint? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's reprint that. Okay, well I think this looks fine. Along with it, we will, actually this should probably be a shop we can enter, yeah, more clothing. I don't have the money for it, but I am curious to see what they have. I won't talk to people. The clothes I like the best aren't necessarily the most flattering, it's a real struggle. I'm looking for something that'll make me stand out even in a vast wild area. Well that might not be good if you're trying to hide from Pokemon. Oh hey, here's Sonya. My grand told me I needed to go to on a, to go on a journey, but a girl needs a bit of joy in her life too. And do you, are you two here to do some shopping as well? Don't forget to register at the stadium. I'm working on it, don't you worry. I say there's no such thing as youth fashion or old people's fashion, only good fashion. You know, I can agree with that. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? So let's see. So you have like more stylized t-shirts. I like them. Yeah, they definitely all have like different graphics on them and everything. I like different polo shirts. Okay, uh, and then over this way, there's different jackets. Some of these jackets actually look pretty cool. Uh, we'll skip them for now though. We also have like sports bottoms. These are more similar to the pants that we had at the beginning. Nothing I'm wild over, except for different colored socks. One of those is just removing a sock. <laughs> okay, uh, and then there's different shoes, but also, Still not super crazy about them. And the different bags, once again. Eh, I don't think I need them. And then what is this? Sport cap. Oh, uh, we can't wear a hat with this. I, I think that's so lame. Different glasses. There's a lot of options. A lot of different color variations. Okay, well, I'll keep these in mind. Um, and then gloves again. No thank you. They're very expensive anyways. But I'm glad to see what you had. Uh, thanks for coming by and do feel free to use our changing room whenever you'd like to. I think we look great. So, let's go over to the left now. And looks like there's actually at least another shop here. I see that you, you're working on a Pokedex. You'll meet lots of different Pokemon if you head to the wild area. Yeah, I was already there. 
But we'll definitely add to our Pokedex more. Oh wow, there's lots of people here. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Yes. Okie dokie, let's have a break. Oh, this is cool. You have been challenged by Cafe Master Dwight. He looks like he enjoys his job. <laughs> He's sending out Combi. All right. And we're sending out Dot. We can handle this. This will be fine. I don't know what type Combi is. Again, like a bug type, right? So hopefully Ember will do well. Oh, super well. It's super effective. You're gonna use Gust, which I think will be able to handle just fine. Um, so we'll just do quick attack just to finish you off. Ready? Boom. Not bad. Okay, so our Pokemon gained experience points. Dot is level 15, which is super exciting. And we defeated Cafe Master Dwight. <laughs> I hope that battle was a delicate, sweet taste for you. Alrighty, so we get something on the house for winning that one. Can't wait to see what. That was a battle as refreshing as a glass of Moo Moo milk. Here's a treat, I promise. You obtained a strawberry sweet. Okay, nice. A strawberry shaped sweet. When a milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. What is a milsery? Guess a type of Pokemon. Uh, we look forward to your next visit. Oh, maybe this is a milsery. Ream, ream. I don't know. Today's coffee is something special. The Pokemon helping out did a good job. My friend, he's just obsessed with Mr. Kabu. He even talks, he even collects Mr. Kabu's league cards. I don't know who Mr. Kabu is. Gym leader Kabu is amazing. Oh, he's a gym leader. He's older than my dad, but he's still nowhere near retiring. I hope he's still the gym leader when, when it's my turn to do the gym challenge. Okay, interesting. So I guess that might be who we're going against. Hoot Hoot enjoys bitter flavors just fine, but I've got more of a sweet tooth myself. If you manage to really shine during the gym challenge, you'll become a star of the Gower region. You've seen Leon's cape, right? All those sponsor logos are pretty impressive, but couldn't they come up with a better design? I sort of like it though. Anyways, this place was cool. For sure. And we'll talk to you, you have like a little stand. What is this, music? Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. Here, let me give you something nice. Try using it on your Pokemon. You obtained TR13. What is TR? Focus energy. I don't know what the difference between TMs and TRs are. The user takes a deep breath and focuses so that the critical hits land more easily. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. Okay. Uh, they break after one use too, which is also extra old school. So I guess you can only apply it to one Pokemon, so I'll have to be very uh, choosy with that. Onyx is big, but it can get even bigger by Dynamaxing. Interesting. Hi there. <laughs> How's it? I came all the way from Malola to watch the gym challenge in person. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow, there's something over here. Gotta keep my eye out for that. We found a super potion, free stuff, a spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. Free stuff is always good. If I could choose my own uniform number, which one should I pick? I can't make up my mind. I don't know what you mean. I guess you can have numbers on your uniform? I can't wear the same uniform as my favorite gym leader. I'd get way too nervous. All right. Oh, there's another music place here. Here, let me give you one of these high-tech earbuds. Oh, no need to thank you. It's just a whim. You obtained a set of high-tech earbuds. You put this put the set of high-tech earbuds in your bag's key item pockets. Strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Do you know what's so high-tech about the high-tech earbuds? When you put them in your ear, they actually let you control the sounds of your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds like Pokemon cries. So how do we do that? Not like that. Um, is it just an options? Because that just sounds like options to me. Yeah, it's right here. So was this not here before? That's a little weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I, I, no, I didn't save it. I didn't change anything, but hopefully, if I accidentally did there, I, I just changed it back. Um, anything else? Can I go inside of this? I cannot. It's like a library. Another flower shop. This, Mr. Rose has a real love for the gallery region. It's not enough to help keep us all supplied with energy. He even supports the gym challenge. I'm not sure who Mr. Rose is. I'm always frightened by airplanes and whatnot. How those giant chunks of metal move so fast, well, mostly physics. Uh, Pokemon don't bother me, though. 
I mean, they move the same way. Physics. Uh, rawr, what is happening? What is happening? I, was, I thought, is that the little girl talking? I don't know, it's Charizard. Oh, hey, it's Leon. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Zebra, all right? One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. You obtained a piece of charcoal. I mean, I don't think they've been that naughty this year. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a combustible fuel that boosts the power of fire type moves, nice. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed to the, for the stadium next. So let's make sure Dot is holding that. Uh, but I'm not quite ready. I wanted to check out everybody else there is to talk about. Steam power's amazing. It can even move that giant lift. Indeed it can. Hello. I guess you might want to have a look around the city first. Only don't get lost like I do. When you're ready to visit the stadium, take the lift to get up there. Alrighty. Anybody else? Actually, nobody else over here. So I'm good to go to the bag. And I have, where is it? Treasures, ingredients, key items. Other items, would it be an other? Yes, charcoal. So, give it to a Pokemon, we'll give that to Dot. And, I also wanna see, is there any mystery gifts? Get a mystery gift. I don't know if there is anything. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't know if there is anything, like if there's any pre-order bonuses or anything like that. I just haven't checked this, so I'm gonna check it really quickly. But then we'll go and see what's going on with the lift. Oh, okay, there's a Gigantin, Gigantamax Meowth gift. What is this? I don't know. So it's Meowth, but Gigantamaxed? I have no clue. It is Meowth. He's so cute. I love him. Meowth's data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh cool, it washes its face regularly to keep the coin on the on its forehead spotless. It doesn't get along with Galarian mouth. Meowth, <laughs> interesting. All right, so I guess that can Gigantamax, but can't they all? I thought all Pokemon could Gigantamax. Who knows, for right now, I got a Meowth out of it, so that's cool. Anyways, let's talk to you. Actually, no, I've already talked to you. Let's just go on the left. Whoa, okay. I thought I was gonna like fling us up in the air. That was really fast, and there's a lot of people up here and the dancing Pokeball guy. Ta-da! You took the time to talk to the Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. You obtained a Pokeball. Well, thanks, uh, I guess. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. But then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. All right, Ball Guy, thanks. The stadium is so huge, I wonder how many houses would fit inside. Quite a lot. The stadium can even handle Dynamax Pokemon battling inside. It is said that long, long ago, there was a giant stadium made entirely out of stone. Huh, sounds cool. Is there anything this way, or does it just go on forever? No, whoa, hey, look at you. Corviknight is a Pokemon that flies all about carrying people where they wanna go. But even they get tuckered out. You have a really cool outfit. Cor okay, I can't go this way. <laughs> what, when a, when a Corviknight is tired, don't go near him. <laughs> They're in a bad mood. Uh, what about over this way? Ah, Moto Stoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony is held. Exhibition matches are super exciting too. Okay. The gym leaders will show up for the gym challenge opening ceremony. Hmm. Oh, and there's a couple of people. I lost the gym challenge opening ceremony. My heart is pounding with all the excitement, which means we can't go that way. Oh boy. <laughs> so, let's talk to some of the people around here. I see Hop. Oh, I can't talk to the other people now? You made it too? Moto Stoke Stadium, this is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves, I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Zebra, it's time the world learned our names. Alrighty, well, I'll be right after you. I just wanna talk to these two first. Everyone participating in the gym challenge is welcome to stay at the Boodoo Drop-In. All right. Haven't seen that yet. We league staff are here to provide support for the various matches that occur throughout the gym challenge. Well, aren't you guys just nice? Can I go over here? Oh, look at this. 
There's probably a Pokeball or two to find around somewhere. I saw. I thought I saw something flash. Oh, 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 here we go. I found a Repel. Cool. So let's quickly check out the other side as well, if I can. Yep, there's a Pokeball waiting for us. Very cool. Three burn heal, so I didn't have to buy some earlier in today's episode. Hey, the more the merrier, right? So let's go into it, the giant stadium, calling our name. Can we participate in the tournament today? I sure hope. But I mean, it starts tomorrow, so I'm not really sure. Would you take a look at this? The place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. Okay. Oh, we gotta wait in line. <laughs> this guy has fancy hair. Seriously, what a piece of work. But did he like shove you, I guess? If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Well, we both have an endorsement from Leon himself. Fancy that, this is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now now you've had two, because I am as well. What, two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop, I'm Leon's little brother in fact, and the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to, if you'll just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of the uniform uh, you must wear for any official match. Oh wow, so I just put my own number. I don't know what to put. Uh, 17, I just like that number. <laughs> number 17, is it? Very well. And here, please wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Boodoo Drop-In. Oh really, that's nice. That's the league chairman for you, even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Well, that's nice. If you're looking for the Boodoo Drop-In, you'll find it's not far from the stadium. Head towards Route 3, it's along the way. Well, I wanna to talk to everybody else around here. Uh, you're looking at, uh, you're looking a bit gobsmacked by all this? You must be from some small country town. Is that it? I'm quite the same myself. Uh, okay, why was your name question marks? Cause that's not normal for all the, I guess we haven't introduced ourselves to that character specifically. There are heaps of us starting out like this, but only a small number will make it to the end. All right, well, good luck. Uh. Let's talk to these two. So these guys already have their competitive gear. Hmm, so everyone here is a fellow gym challenger. Indeed they are. And what about these two? Finally, the time's come for another gym challenge. What about you? I'm sorry, but only challengers taking on the gym mission can go beyond this point. The opening ceremony of the gym challenge. My whole family will be watching back home. I should go check my hair once, once more in the mirror, don't you think? I, mean, I think they care about your battling, not your hair. Everyone's already nervous. Will we make it to the end? I'm sure you can. Hello. I heard that this year's gym challenges include trainers that were endorsed by the chairman and even the champion. Indeed, I'm one of them. Okay, so let's just talk to you then. You're the guy from before. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to, in to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you, wasting the time of someone as important as I am. Well, geez. Maybe I don't want to talk to you no more then. So what's going on out here? Whoa. I don't know why, I don't remember this carpeting. You must be Challenger Zebra. That's me. The Boodoo Drop-In is down this way, if you'd be so kind as to follow me. Oh yeah, it didn't let me go this way before. Well, now I can. Look at the enjoy this awesome music again. Did I talk to you two? Yes, I think. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's move down this way. Oh, here it is. Challenger Zebra, we have arrived at the Voodoo Drop-In. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. 
Will do. But I do want to talk to everybody still. I I'm very chatty today. That's fine, though. Hi. Most of the companies here in Gower are owned by Chairman Rose. My favorite person is the champion. My favorite word is strongest. Okay. What are these guys doing? The gym leaders battle each other separately for the gym challenge in order to determine who is stronger. Are they just looking at the art? Wow, my Mincy has gone missing. What should I do? Can I help? Huh? You'll help me look for Mincio? Oh, thank you so much. My Mincio really likes to play in the water and it also likes the sound of whistling. I've been attending somewhere where there's lots of water, but I can't think of a place with lots of water here in Motostoke. It has a weird cry that sounds like warp. So if you hear that cry, try whistling. Well, what do you think about our secret hideout? We wanna make a new gym. Well, have fun, just be safe. So if we hear that noise from warp, we'll have to go ahead and whistle. Don't you wish people could use Pokemon moves too? I mean, I bet I could unleash an amazing hyper beam. Yeah, that'd be funny at the least. What's down this way? Wow, maybe I'm getting a little too sidetracked for right now. This place seems huge and that's awesome and we'll explore more of it soon, but for right now we got an X accuracy, an item that sharply boosts the accuracy of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off once a Pokemon is withdrawn. We can poke around more of this stuff soon enough, I'm sure. Yeah, there's even a Pokemon heal station to our left. Showing you how big this city is that it has two of them. But for right now, we'll go inside the hotel. We'll explore that a bit. Oh, and here we are. There's tons of people here. Oh, that's a fancy statue. Hiya, looks like you both got yourself registered. Oh, hey, Sonia, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering vault. I reckon if I look into some of the Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, Give me all the details. <laughs> I like hearing about this stuff. What's interesting is usually these are about Pokemon. But this time it's just, it's just a guy. Unless it's a Pokemon that just looks like a guy. Uh, long ago, a great black storm covered the Gower region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it bottled out the skies, or blotted out the skies, all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh, I suppose that hero must have been, out, been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have to have your hands full with plenty to research though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Uh, will you be all right, Sonia? Of course I will. I'll model through somehow, don't you worry. You two are, try are are staying here at the hotel tonight, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Yes, we should. Probably so, and we'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Alrighty. I guess we probably should head to the front desk and get checked in. Thanks for always tagging along with Hop. I hope you can keep it up. Leon really worries about him too. He practically ra raised him after all. Interesting. So what's going on up this way? Lots of different trainers. What's the problem with those guys? I can't check in. Uh, what's the deal with this team yell? I can't check in, team yell. So they just yell a lot. We came all the way out to this big city so we could properly cheer on gym challengers. Team yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Uh, sorry to bother you. Oh, okay. So I thought he was just talking to somebody else and I was just eavesdropping. Okay, so I guess I do have to challenge him. I mean, I don't know what they're doing wrong is the thing. Can I talk to these people in the front? No. All right, well, if you're gonna be apprehensive, I might as well go to your level with it. <laughs> oh, do I have to battle all four of you? Uh-oh. Their team yell. <laughs> oh gosh, I have like megaphones. Did not we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a lot of trouble. Team Yell is all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now, now you're going to help us. 
Make some noise. <laughs> what was that? I can't hear you. I'm too busy yelling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Team Yell Grunt sent out Zigzagoon. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. So they're like the they're like like rock punk kind of like fans. Anyways, we'll take on Zigzagoon with Ember. Dot used Ember. Boom. Not bad. And I plan on using other Pokemon soon. It's just right now, uh, Dot's really like ahead of the game, so it helps a lot. But as the game gets more complex and challenging, we'll need the other Pokemon, so it'll work out well. Anyways, there's Zigzagoon gone. And everybody getting experience. Jazzy gets to level 12, which is fantastic. And what are you going to throw out next? You defeat the Team Yell Grunt. Went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. <laughs> well, there's that done. Oh, right, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would you? All right, round two. What is, what is she holding? It's like a little flag with somebody's face on it. Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Okay, so this is another Team Yell Grunt. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I remember, I forgot. Yeah, this was in the direct. She was, uh, that was the girl from in the stadium, wasn't it? I think. I can't remember. Oh, this is so cute, every time. All right, going against Nickit. Uh, we will do a double kick. It's super effective against Dark, I guess. You're doing quick attack, though. We can handle it, we can take it. All right, you ready? Double kick. Oh, we don't even need the second kick. You're done for. Okay, so the Pokemon was hit one more time, or one time, I mean. Everybody gains experience, but not quite a level up. And that's gonna be that Grunt defeated. I must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Has this joke gotten old yet? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh man, the swanky sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Zebra. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get a, you can get ahead that, of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Why well, isn't that great? Are we doing like two versus two? I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's gonna be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two on two. <laughs> They're cheering each other on. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. All right, well, we'll see about that. You were challenged by Team Yell Grunt and Team Yell Grunt. Whoa. The variety. <laughs> All right, so Zigzagoon and Nickit again. So it's the same thing again. Uh, well, I'll definitely go for Nickit because I already have the type advantage. That'll just be like an easy way to take him down. And what level are they? They're level nine. So we can handle this, no problem. So let's double kick you. But they're gonna use quick attack. So they do get the first hit in, but it's not that big of a deal because we got healed, only lost three HP there. And you're finished. Oh, not quite. Here comes kick number two. You're able to hold on a little bit more than the other one. And who's going next? Uh, we do get experience, not quite a level up. Wooloo's gonna tackle. Hey, it does something. And you're going to lick, ah, oh, don't lick it. That's weird. Uh, but let's do Ember on Zigzagoon. And, oh, nice, that was great. So how much experience is that? Not quite enough for a level up again, but that's okay. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I wanna yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. All right, well you came to see it, not to participate, so why is that so awful? It's okay if you lost a battle. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Oh, it's her. Marnie? Nothing, we was just. I know you all are, all are terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. So this is who they're big fans of. Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it go, all go to their heads a bit. Come on you lot, back home with you now. 
I like how she's pretty well spoken about it though. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that they tend to get a bit sh shorty with other gym challenges. There's a lot of lingo I'm not familiar with. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so here we are back at the hotel lobby. I mean, we never really left. You have such a cute little Pokemon. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Again, sorry if they caused you any trouble. That's fine. Uh, hey, gym challenger, you're not bad. Well, thank you. Thanks for chasing away those bothersome team yell creeps. Now I can finally talk to the front desk and get myself checked in. I guess we should probably should head to the front desk to get checked in. All right. Good evening and welcome to the Voodoo Drop In. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yep. Yes, young Master Zebra. I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. Okay, pretty cool. So we're able to chill out for the night and then tomorrow we'll be able to participate in the gym challenge. That's cool, we'll be able to do that next episode, I think. The next morning. Already trying out your Pokeball throw. Morning! So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Zebra, I'll beat you to Motostoke Stadium. Well, it's not about beating me to there, it's beating me while we're in there. But all right, so that's definitely where we'll be going next episode. But for right now, I do want to talk to you. This season is always the busiest with all, with what with all the gym challengers and the tourists they draw. Indeed, I can only imagine. Onward to Motostoke Stadium. Time for the opening ceremony. So how are our Pokemon right now? Are they healed? Because I know there is the uh, healing station to the left, but they are all healed up. So we should be good to go with everything. Very excited to see that. And let's talk to you. Oh, Marty's still here. So the gym challenge is finally starting. I wish you luck, but I'm afraid I'm going to be the one to win. I'll have to see about that, but I wish you good luck with everything still. Because I guess I have more manners. Gym challenge of the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. No. <laughs> of course, you should have no problem making your own way through the gym stadium, right? <laughs> he seems a little offended. I was just going to, you know, wait for a moment because I wanted to take a look around. But I think that's just about where we're gonna finish it off for today's episode. I did wanna take a quick look over this way to see what's available. Can I go into this door? No. Um, but I can go into this one. I mean, I don't think I can miss the challenge, right? That'd be embarrassing. There's lots of people in here. Hi, welcome to the Pokemart. How may I help you? Do you have anything new for me? Doesn't appear to be. Uh, no, thank you. And what about you? Uh, wow, you have moves. Fall swipe, round, light screen, reflect, safeguard, protect, and helping hand. I don't know if I need any of those, but it's good to keep in mind that you have them, so thank you for the offer. And what about you? Time to unwind for my day at work. Now, do I want to watch the gym leader battles or a good football match? Why not both? <laughs> Pokemon are good at some things while people are good at others. Split up the task and things get done in a jiffy. I had a lot of fun working at my part-time job today. A day of hard work and solid pay, well earned. All right, well that seems to be about everybody. I had a lot of fun in today's episode exploring Motostoke and of course being able to take on Team Yell. I know old folks like us can get carried away offering advice, but the most important thing for young ones like you is to live the way you want. So if we run this way, I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn us back. Or maybe not. Oh, I can't go this way. The eight gym leaders that challenge Challengers have to face, they're all frightfully strong. I wonder if any gym challengers stand a chance. Yeah, it just sort of forces you to think out loud, <laughs> which is funny. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Sorry if there wasn't too much battling in today's episode, but we'll definitely make up for it in the next episode. I, I, I didn't mean to whistle. <laughs> oh wait, Pokeball. Let's grab this. A silk scarf, an item to be held by Pokemon. It's sumptuous scarf that boosts the power of normal type moves. Very cool. But with all that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Yell, so you have watched at the end if you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to Jin the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.